we're going to work with mostly today is the difference between relationship and sexual attraction. And um, there's quite a difference there. Uh, what typically happens is that uh, relationship requires that you have sameness. So the more sameness you have, the easier it is to have a relationship. So typically you meet somebody and you start um, connecting with them and you find out all the things you have in common. Uh, you find out potentially you have common friends, common interests, uh, common religion, if that's something you know that you, that you go into. Uh, you want children, you don't want children, you like certain foods, you don't like certain foods. You come closer and closer and closer together as far as sameness. So relationship is built on sameness, and the more you are um, running on parallel tracks and coming closer and closer, the better the relationship will be. The interesting thing is that the more you are the same, the less sexual attraction you have. So um, most people, when they come to uh, relationship counseling, they come with problems like, well, we really like each other very much, but we are no longer sexual attracted, sexually attracted to each other. And the classic relationship advice is, well, spend more time together. Um, you know, do some touching, do some uh, spending uh, quality time on a date together, which of course strengthens the relationship of the sameness, but it does absolutely nothing to the sexual attraction, because the sexual attraction is actually based on being opposite. The more opposite, the stronger the sexual attraction. So you have two poles, and the further they are apart, the stronger the arc of the attraction is. And, of course, the closer and closer you come together as, as a couple, the less of that arc is there. So the very uh, uh, good advice that repairs a relationship, which is spending lots of time together, having lots of non-sexual touch, going on dates, is actually the thing that kills the last bit of the sexual attraction often. Because they're very, very different skills. So what we are concerning ourselves with is sexual uh, attraction, or in my lineage they call it erotic friction, or erotic tension. And the erotic tension um, has to do with how opposite you can be. How that goes, we'll talk about a little bit later, but that just as an overview. So what we experience very often is um, people who had strong sexual attraction to begin with, because of course when you meet each other, you don't know each other. And if you don't know each other, you're still very separate and it's very exciting and it's very new. And then you start going on dates, you have the same friends, you move in together, you sit on the same sofa and one day you wear the matching sweatpants and um, <laughs> you watch Game of Thrones and it's very, very loving and, and you, you're kissing and you're hugging, but there isn't much sex happening because of that coming together. So. Um, the good news is that it's very hard to find somebody with, you, with whom you can have a really good relationship, but it's very easy to build that sexual attraction because it's a skill set, and it's a skill set that follows specific rules, and you can learn those rules, and then you can have the, um, uh, the beautiful, close relationship and pull apart for the sake of the sexual attraction.